You're watching KSG News Explainer. In this video, we're going to talk about India getting re-elected to the UNHRC. India was re-elected to the United Nations Human Rights Council or UNHRC for the 2022-2024 for a sixth term on the 14th of October 2021 and vowed to continue to work for the promotion and protection of human rights through Samman, Samwad and Sahyog. Now, what does this really mean? The UN General Assembly, elected by a secret ballot, Argentina, Benin, Cameroon, Eritrea, Finland, Gambia, Honduras, India, Kazakhstan, Lithuania, Luxembourg, Malaysia, Montenegro, Paraguay, Qatar, Somalia, UAE and the USA. The U.S. joined the cohort more than three years after the Trump administration quit the 47-member body over what it called chronic bias against Israel and a lack of reform. China and some of its allies, including Belarus and Venezuela, have taken advantage of the U.S. absence from the Council to push through joint statements supporting Beijing's actions in Hong Kong, Xinjiang and Tibet and denouncing human rights violations in Western countries, including against indigenous Canadians. In the vote, non-governmental organizations accused regional groups of stitching up a legitimizing facade rather than a genuine contest at the Council by presenting the same number of candidates as vacant seats. The Council is made up of 47 member states. For years, the body has been criticized for allowing authoritarian governments to take part. Human Rights Council candidates are elected in geographical groups to ensure even representation. There were no competitive races on 14th of October to elect 13 new members and re-elect 5 members. Members cannot serve more than 2 consecutive terms. That's all we could pack in in this edition of KSG News Explainer. Stay tuned for more such videos. To join KSG in their courses and to crack the IS exam, visit ksgindia.com. You can also get a PDF of this video on ksgindia.com. Thanks for watching.